But first tonight, Eyewitness News is first on the scene of a boat rescue in Providence. Several 10th graders from the Met School are pulled to safety after their sailboat flips over, throwing them into the water. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where it happened in the Providence River off India Street. And tonight, several of those students are being treated at Hasbro Children's Hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North joins us now live from the scene with pictures you won't see anywhere else. Mike, those students were out on a 14-foot sailboat learning about the physics of boating right here off of India Point. And their instructor tells us a sudden wind gust turned their nautical lesson into a water rescue. This exclusive Eyewitness News video shows anxious EMTs waiting on shore off of India Point, preparing to help the rescued boaters. The commercial tugboat, the Puma, brought the group of six Met High School students and their academic advisor to shore after their sailboat overturned just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. I think we just got a big gust of wind at the, at the wrong time, and... Uh, it just caught the main sail and just sent us up um, vertically. Nathan Bono tells Eyewitness News he and the six students, as well as a community boating instructor, were in the chilly water of the Providence River for at least 15 minutes. A fisherman came out who was over by the docks, kind of off the side. He came out with a, with a small single, single motor um, boat and, uh, and picked us up and kept us on there until the tugboat came out and got us. Providence firefighters and EMTs examined the shivering sophomores and wrapped them in blankets. They were all taken to Hasbro Children's Hospital as a precaution. Even though they say they all feel good, one of the first signs of hypothermia is confusion. So what we're going to do is we're going to get them over, get them out of their wet clothes, do an assessment on them, you know, just stay around the safe side. They definitely all were in the in the er, in the early stages of hypothermia, and we got a report of uh, one leg injury, which we're looking into right now. And as we take you back live to the scene, we can tell you that firefighters did expect everyone on board that boat to be treated and released later today. We can also tell you that they were all wearing their life jackets as well. Now, New at 6 will tell you exactly how cold the water is here and how quickly hypothermia can turn from a mild case into something more serious. We're live tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.